In this video, I'll teach you how to make a marble maze or marble labyrinth. I'll talk through materials, tools and techniques. For materials, you're going to need sections of 2.5mm by 25mm tall wood lengths. You're also going to need two 15cm square pieces of MDF board between 2 and 3mm thick, and one 15 by 15cm square piece of transparent perspex or styrene, also 2 or 3mm thick. For tools, you need a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, main power works best, a pack of hot glue sticks, a sheet of sandpaper, medium grit, a brick stick or glue stick, and a 5mm ball bearing or small marble. Step 1 is to measure and cut your wood according to the following lengths. Maze edges, ramp, and internal walls for the design that's downloaded underneath. Once you're done, the pieces should look roughly like this. You should have sets of 14 and 16 centimetre pieces, or rather 15 and 6 centimetre pieces, a 3.5 centimetre ramp, and then your internal maze walls. Making sure to sand down the edges for using the sandpaper. Step 2. Lay out the pieces of your base according to this. For step two, you're going to need two 15 centimeter pieces and two 16 centimeter pieces. Lay out your edges just like this, with 15 centimeter pieces on opposite sides and 16s on the other two opposite sides. Lay a thin bead of glue down one edge of the MDF base and attach your first 15 centimeter piece. Then attach a 16 centimeter piece along the edge, just touching the other 15 centimeter piece, and repeating the other two sides. So you end up with two 15 centimetre pieces on opposite sides and 16s overlapping them on the other two sides. This forms the base of your marble maze. Step four is to glue the ramp on. Take your three and a half centimetre piece, which you cut at 45 degrees, and uh, glue a thin line of glue down the one of the short 45 centimetre degree cuts. You can see here I'm modelling to make sure that the ramp pushes up just above the top of that base that we've made. As you glue it down, make sure that the end of the piece sticks up above. Next up, take your second 15 centimeter piece of MDF and glue or draw the maze design on top of it. Cutting it out if you want to print it from the description below. Once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. Use a wood drill bit, just bigger than your ball bearing, so six mils, to cut, drill the drill holes and to use a junior hacksaw or a standard wood saw to cut out the piece at the bottom corner which is where your ramp is going to be. Make sure your ball bearing fits nicely through the holes and pulls through. Step 8. Make sure the base fits over the ramp snugly. It should fit just inside the base that you've made and they'll just stand there without you touching. When it does, then you're ready for the next step. Step 9. Cut 9 small half centimetre pieces of the wood to support the maze base. You need 3 of these together, which will form a 1.5 centimetre riser for your base to sit on. Then just glue them in place using your hot glue gun. Step 10. To glue the maze base on top of the support you've just made. A little dab of glue on top of each of these and then attach the glue base, the maze base on top. Once you've done, it should look a little bit like this. Step 11 is to glue the other two 15 centimetre pieces into 16 centimetre pieces on top. Make sure that, that as you glue these, the 15 centimetre piece will sit between the two 16 centimetre pieces. When you, when you glue your 16 centimetre pieces on, Try and fit them together like a piece of Lego, making sure that one overlaps the other like a brick wall. It will help make your walls a little bit stronger once you finish gluing the whole of the base together. Making sure you put glue on the, on the base as well as on the sides will make sure that your frame is nice and strong. Once you glue those together, you've now got the edges to your mensa. Step 12 is to glue the maze wall pieces into place. So, apply glue both to the underside of the maze wall pieces and to the edges. Use a ruler to measure each piece to know where it goes on the design. 
Alternatively, if you've drawn your own design on the base, make sure you measure the lines that you've drawn to mark out where your main wall pieces are going to go. One thing to note for this step is remember you're measuring the, the edge that is not 25 millimeters long. This will be the height of your walls. Make sure you stick down the correct edge. One way to check this is to make sure that when you put the wall in to begin with, that it's the same height as the other pieces you put in. Make sure also that you remove the little spider's web pieces of hot glue that we left after you applied the hot glue. This will help your marble or ball bearing to move freely around your mouse. Step 13, add your ball bearing or small marble and make sure it sits on the maze nicely. Step 14, glue your perspex or styrene sheet to the top of your maze. You can either add individual blobs to the tops of your walls or add a single line of glue around the edge of your maze and then press the styrene down. Make sure you move the little spider web threads of hot glue to allow your ball bearing to move. And finally you're finished. See if you can beat your maze or challenge your friends to beat your maze. If you enjoyed the video then please do like it for video and subscribe for more of the same. Why not share it with people you think would enjoy the video? If you have any questions about the build then please do email me at tincared at yahoo.co.uk. If you have an idea for a project please do leave a comment below and I might make it into my next project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next TT project. Oh, and just in outtakes, don't forget to add your own, add the ball bearing in before you put that screen on. Otherwise, this might happen. Can you guess why I left that bit out?